Yan, welcome ulit dito sa surveying class natin. So, ngayon magbibigay tayo ng additional sample problem on error uh, correction no, sa distance measurement. Pero ngayon, mayroon ng application to dun sa, ano no, uh, application sa measurement naman ng areas or error dun sa areas. Pero anyway, basic application pa rin ng mga error corrections natin. Tapos, uh, yun lang, no? Kasi area is a product of um, length and width, for example. So, yun, kukorek lang natin yung length, kukorek natin yung width, tapos makukuha natin yung totoong or yung corrected na area. Okay, so diretso na tayo sa sample problem. So, rectangle is measured using a 30 meter steel tape, which is uh, 2 millimeters too long at 20 degrees Celsius with a pool of 55 newtons. So, the sides are correct, uh, recorded as 144.95 and 113 meters. The average temperature during the measurement is 30 degrees Celsius with a pool of 55 newtons. So, use coefficient of expansion of steel tape as this value, okay? So, yung uh, required sa atin ngayon is to compute the actual length of tape and then what is the true area and what is the true or what is the error in area in square meter. So, yung uh, figure natin, this is a rectangle. So, this is 113 meters. Tapos, ito naman is 144.95 meters. So, yung area natin is just equivalent to 133 times 144.95. So, area is just equivalent to 133. Oops. No, that's 113, no? Mali. So, uh, careful, careful tayo dito, no? So, 113 meters. So, 113 times 144.95. So, that's 16, 379.35 meters. Okay. So, ito yung uh, area natin na original, okay? Pero, hindi ito yung true area. So, yun, sikokorek pa natin yung length at yung width, okay? So, for letter A... Kung uh, papapansin natin dito sa problem natin, same lang yung pool natin sa measurement saka yung dito sa pag-measure ng uh, 20 degrees Celsius, okay? Tapos, uh, ibig sabihin, walang correction due to pool kasi pareho lang yung pool na nakuha natin. Dito naman sa temperature, dito, uh, originally na-measure 20 degrees kaya nakuha yung 2 meters too long, uh, 2 millimeters too long. Tapos ngayon naman, sa actual measurement, mayroong 30 degrees na uh, temperature, bagong temperature. So, ibig sabihin, may increase ng 10 degrees. Okay? So, meron tayong thermal expansion. So, sa letter A, ang correction lang natin dito is due to temperature, which is K. You have T2 minus T1 times L. So, K is 0 0.0000116 times 30 minus 20 times 30.002 meters. Okay. So, bakit 30.002? Kasi na-mention dito na yung tape natin is 2 millimeters too long doon sa mag-measure ng 20 degrees na uh, yung scenario 1 bale. No? So, 2 mm is just equivalent to 0 .00, uh, 0.002 meters. Kaya, since too long, this is positive. Okay? So, dadagdag siya doon sa 30 meters na nominal length natin ng tape. So, yung correction natin due to temperature is equivalent to so, we have 0 point, oops, 0 0.0000116 times 30 minus 20 times 30.002. So that's uh, 00348 okay? meters. Okay? So yung uh, actual length natin ng tape, so actual length of tape, so, gagawin natin L, T, A. So, tape actual, no? So, it's equivalent to 30.002 plus 0.00348. Therefore, we have L, T, A is equivalent to, so, plus 30.002. So, that's um, 30.00548. 0,048 meters. Ito na ngayon required ng letter A. So, madali lang. No? And then, since uh, ito na yung actual length natin ng uh, tape during measurement, ibig sabihin, yung correction natin ay ito. No? Since yung LN natin or nominal length natin is 30 meters, therefore, yung error correction natin, E, is just 0 0.00548 which is uh, too long. Okay? Kasi positive. Naragdagan yung nominal length natin by 0, 0 Five, four, eight. Okay. So, sa pangalawa, 
which is magagamit natin yan, no? magagamit natin itong error na to, dun sa pangalawa, kasi kailangan natin i-compute yung what is the true area. Okay. So, sa letter B, simulan natin sa L, okay? L of rectangle. So, yung um, uh, length bali ng rectangle natin. Okay. So, kukunin muna natin yung um, correction. Okay? So, correction sa absolute length. So, this is LM, tapos C na correction, tapos L nominal. Okay? So, yung 144.95 times C na 00548. Kasi, yan nga yung correction natin sa nominal length natin. Ha? So, yan yung dinagdag sa 30 meters natin. Okay, so we have so 144.95 Oops, 92. 95 times 0.00548 divided by, oops, nagdagdag ka ng isang 0, no? 548, dalawang 0 lang, divided by 30. So that's uh, 0.0265 meters. Okay. So yung L2 natin, or gawin natin L prime na lang, no? So L prime, or yung corrected na length natin is 144.95 plus 0.0265 meters. Ito rin meters. So, L prime is equivalent to plus 144.95. So, magiging 144.9765 meters. Okay? Yan. So, meron na tayong corrected na length. Sa so, width naman, width of um, rectangle. Ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. No? So, we have correction to absolute length, LM, C over L nominal. Okay? So, 113 times 0.00548 divided by 30 that's equivalent to 113 times 0.00548 divided by 30. So, that's uh, 0.0206 meters. Okay? So, yung W prime natin, or width prime, is 113 plus 0. 0.00, oh, 0.00, natuloy. 0.206, tama Yan. Meters, meters. So, it's equivalent to 113 plus 0.0206, syempre, kahit di na i-calcu, 113.0206 meters. So, yung true area natin ngayon, area true is just equivalent to L prime, W prime. So, we have 144.9765 times 113.0206 So, we have true area is equivalent to 144.9765 times 113.0206. meters squared. So, ito na ngayon yung true area natin. So, yung third na requirement is yung error natin sa area. Okay? So, error in area. So, yung error ng area is just um, 80. So, error minus yung A natin na original. So, 16385.3310 minus yung area na nakompute natin kanina. So, we have 16. That's um, 16379.35. Uh, 3, 3.7935. Point thirty-five meters. So error in area is equivalent to so minus sixteen three seven nine point thirty-five. That's five point ninety-eight. Five point ninety-eight one zero meters squared. Okay. So ito yung error natin sa area. Okay. So ganon lang, no? Kailangan lang natin correct yung length, length sa ka width gamit yung correction na available. So, in this case, available natin na correction is due to temperature lang. Kasi yung pool natin, nakuha naman natin yung sa isang case na 55-55 din. Okay? 
So, ganun lang, no? I-apply lang natin yung mga available na correction na pwede gamitin. Tapos, yun, compute ulit natin yung area. Uh, kahit siguro anong application, no? basta i-correct nyo lang yung distance. Tapos, saka makukuha yung area or kung ano mang um, application ng error na correction. Okay, so, uh, I hope na medyo madali lang intindihin yung pagka-discuss natin. And, thank you ulit for watching and see you sa mga next na video uploads natin. Thank you.